having trouble with Microsoft Outlook not being able to connect to the server? Well, we have the fixes for you. Let's get started. Hi everyone, welcome back to the official Wondershare Recovery YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe for more practical data recovery solutions. Today, among everything else, we would like to introduce Repair It, which is yet another repair tool which is designed to repair damaged images, video files, different types of other small files easily. And we're here to address one relatively common Microsoft Outlook error, which apparently many of you encounter with their Outlook setups. Yes, we're indeed talking about Outlook, which is showing the Outlook cannot connect to server error message. And if you're facing the same problem, continue watching because in this video, we're going to show you the most common reasons and the most common solutions in order to overcome this big trouble. First and foremost, I know it might sound very trivial, but have you double-checked your credentials? Because it could be a tiny typo which is going to be preventing you from actually making connection to the server. In many cases, users are unable to log in their accounts because they've entered the incorrect credentials. So before everything else, make sure to log in with the correct account credentials. If your account credentials are accurate and you're still not able to communicate with the Outlook server, then obviously accounts are all right, so the next thing we want to troubleshoot is the network connectivity. In some cases, loose wire connections or poor signal strength of your Wi-Fi router might be restricting Outlook from connecting to a server. If that's the case, make sure the LAN cable is fitted, that you have good Wi-Fi coverage and maybe in some cases you might have to restart the wireless router. Another reason why Outlook may not be able to connect to its server is a technical glitch. So now we're going to make a few troubleshooting steps with Microsoft Outlook in order to resolve possible network connectivity issues. To run these diagnostics, open Outlook, click on File. Then go to Account and Social Network Settings and tap on the Account Settings. In case there's an account issue, you're going to see an indication on your screen, which simply means that the Exchange Server connection hasn't been set up properly. If that's the case, you can simply reconfigure Outlook in order to fix the issue. Our next clue is security. Keep in mind that to connect Outlook to the Microsoft Exchange Server, it's crucial that you're using an SSL encrypted connection. You can change the network configuration by following these few easy steps. So, going to Account Settings again, clicking on File and Account, then Social Network Settings. Now, we select the Outlook email account, click Change, go to the More Settings, switch to the Advanced tab. Now, under the Outgoing Server, choose Encrypted Connection as SSL using the drop-down menu. In the end, click OK and apply the changes and then check whether the server connection is getting restored. Another possibility to fix connectivity issues is to simply use a proxy in case you have really a lot of rules about security in your data center network, then definitely using a proxy is the way to go. You have to select the email account, click on Change, then click on More settings to proceed further. Now select Connection to Microsoft Exchange using HTTP. In the next step, choose Exchange Proxy Settings and enter the proxy URL that you want to configure. Make sure to choose the Connecting using SSL only option, then go ahead and enter the proxy URL. Finally, select the Basic Authentication option in order to complete the configuration process. Ok, next idea, Outlook extensions. If none of the steps so far are working, then it really is worth checking your extensions and maybe disabling some of them in order to check whether connection is going to be back. On your system, open the Outlook account, go to File, click Option, then tap the Add Ins option. Uncheck all the extensions to disable them and finally click OK in order to save the changes. Rebuilding the Outlook data file is another good idea, especially when you see your Outlook crashing quite often and when you're getting messages about access to certain messages. So, if that's the way to go, here's the procedure. We go to Account Settings, we click on Data File. Now, choose your email account, which is failing to connect to the server. Select Open File Location. And here, you can either rename the data file or move its location to complete the process. The next idea is really simple, but I need to admit it has happened to me as well many, many times. I'm trying to connect to my email and actually Outlook is in work offline mode. How to change that? Pretty simple. 
Just uncheck the Work Offline option in order to reconnect to the network. If you're still unable to connect to Outlook servers then, maybe we should go for a more radical change, because up until now the steps were quite simple and easy to follow, and if none of them are working and you're still suffering from the same symptom, you know that in Windows sometimes reinstalling a software piece helps a lot. So that's our next tip. Reinstall Outlook. Right. I really hope the connection to the server is now restored, but could be that we use our next tip in order to help you to access data which is currently inaccessible. Because yes, while we are performing some of these steps, could be that we get a corrupt OST or PST file. This is exactly where Repair It comes into place and I'm going to show you now how you can quickly restore some damaged files using Wondershare Repair It. Install and launch the software called Repair It for Email on your computer, click Select File and point to the corrupt PST or OST file. You can also add multiple files at the same time. After you upload the files, click on the Repair button at the bottom right corner of the screen. After the files have been repaired, you can use the Preview option in order to check each file individually. Finally, click on the Save button in order to save these repaired files on your computer. And that's everything that you need to know in order to restore the connectivity to your Outlook server and also to repair OST and PST files in case they got damaged throughout the troubleshooting process. I really hope that this video has been useful and in case you know some other tips and tricks, feel free to share them in the comment section below the video. For more practical data solutions, I'll be happy to see you subscribe to our channel because more are about to come. My name is Michael and look forward to seeing you in our next video. Bye!